Okay, um, we have looked at ways to take a light image and uh, salvage something out of it. The previous uh, tutorial showed an image where you could already tell what was in the picture. One of my favorite things to play with in Photoshop is taking images that appear to be uh, almost unsalvageable and actually being able to pull an image that is yeah, usable. It's not going to be gorgeous probably, but it will be usable uh, out of it. And this is an example. I was in New York City and uh, of course uh, had to buy a camera while I was there. Didn't quite know how to use that camera, so I started playing around with it and I came up with this image. And just looking at it here on the screen, you can see that there are just a few little details that are actually showing, but not a whole lot of stuff. Um, but if you uh, start playing with this picture, you will quickly begin to see that there is some detail. So I'm going to open up my layers, and I'm going to do Control J, Command J on a Mac, and I'm going to make this normal blending mode. I know uh, from experience that screen will make dark things light, so I'm going to do screen. And notice how I can start to see a little bit of detail. And now I'm going to do Control J a few times and see how I am starting to get all kinds of detail in this picture. Uh, and not only am I getting detail, but I'm getting noise and I'm getting color, strange color shift things happening. So if I wanted to use that particular technique, uh, I would have to uh, probably go with a black and white image out of this. Um, and that's a possibility. But let me uh, do Control alt z to undo, get back to my original dark image. And what happens if I use image adjustments levels? Well, first off, I can tell just by looking at my histogram here that there is virtually no data in this picture of any kind. But let's start trying to lighten it up. I'm going to start bringing this down a little bit. And here we can see we're getting results very similar to what we were getting when we did the uh, multiple layers set to screen. You know, oh, and there we can see. Actually, this is a really good exercise in uh, looking at crappy pictures because this picture, it's the old uh, Gigo garbage in, garbage out. Uh, Photoshop can do miracles, but it cannot take a blurry picture and make it be 100% in focus, and nor can it take a really, really, really noisy picture like this one and make it be perfectly sharp and clear. There's just no way. You can bring out what details in there, but you've got to remember you're stuck with what you start with. Another technique that I want to try on this picture is uh, image adjustments, shadow highlight. And in the previous version of Photoshop, uh, this was my favorite tool. I like the Shadow Highlights box a whole lot uh, because it lets me play with all kinds of options. And I think somewhere, I can't get it, I can't see the bottom down here. Um, if yours comes up with only showing one or two of these things, there's a checkbox. Uh, make sure that you have the checkbox set. Uh, let me see here. Yes, show more options is what it's called. I had to bring it over to my other screen, which is higher resolution. Make sure you're looking at all the options. And you can start to come in here and play around very in a very targeted sort of way. See how this is giving me much more preferable results without playing up the uh, nasty noise so much? And I can start to play with some of these other settings. little bit. Contra being able to take contrast down is a good thing. Color correction. If I want to just go black and white right now, I could take the color correction all the way down. Or I could take it all the way up if I want to have some color in there. See how the I'm looking at this area over here. Okay. So it's it's your call on how you want to handle this. Okay. But those are some of the options for making a picture, a bad picture, the best it can possibly be.
but once again, anytime you're dealing with something, uh, this was a, a fairly low quality camera. It was a Canon Power Shot, a nice enough camera, but it didn't uh, didn't really have the most amazing uh, optics in the universe. Um, uh, I'm using a Leica now, and it tends to do a little bit better uh, with the low light situations. But low light with the digital camera is going to give you trouble. Okay.